Let's try trading something just for the sake of it. Pickle pea, pickle plum, diddly 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 diddly, or something like that. Oh, they liked that. Okay. That came as a bit of a surprise. Oh, please don't give me that look. Believe it or not, I'm quite thin-skinned. <laughs> Heed my words, unkindled one. Fear the fire. The home of pyromancy, Isolith, was scorched by the very fire it created. Undoubtedly, it was a flame of chaos, tangled by a witch's hand. But who's to say that this bonfire's flame is any different? Heed my thought. So he's pointing out why I should be concerned about the fact that the, uh... That, uh, pyromancy destroyed Isolith and created the whole chaos switch situation. But, uh, shouldn't I be concerned about the bonfires that I'm relying on so heavily? I'm at the distant manor now. I want to fill in, fill in any loose ends that I, that I missed back around the area, but I'm having trouble thinking of any. I might have to try to do a lap around the whole area. Oh wow, it's really dark in here. I might have to go do a lap around the area again just to try to figure out if I missed anything along the way because I can't really think of much besides the fact that there was this bonfire with a weird staircase. So we'll see what's down here. Hello. We have more of those ghostly creatures. What's going on down there? A, there's a hole in the middle of the floor, isn't there? Gonna have to watch out for that. Howdy, folks. Oh, where are you going? Come back. Oh, there's webs. Oh, and a flame caster. Alright, nice to meet you too. Out, out, out. Okay. That's how we're starting this, huh? He lured me to a trap. I don't like traps. Now you pay. Dearly so. Anything around here? What is what is around here? So we have two creatures over there. But obviously this is the biggest problem, so let's get let's get to him real quick. Before he's actively a problem. I love you, stamina bar of infinite stamina. <laughs> And that, everyone, is why we're upgrading my um, immolation immolation, t immolation tinder. What is that for? But yeah, that, everyone, is why we are upgrading the stamina meter. So I can attack continuously for a while. Is it a usable item? No. It must be a key item then, huh? Nope. It's a what? It's a weapon. It's a- oh, it's a halberd. Interesting. Okay, let's pull it out then. Can't use it effectively, obviously. Requires strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith all at once. It has a spell, Punitive Flame, that costs 20. Uh, pretty good intelligence scaling, actually, with B. That's actually really high for a weapon. This might be one of the top intelligence weapons for all I know. Uh, has built-in fire damage, and a little spell buff. You must be able to cast with it. Profane Flame, wielded by... Erythelian witches, frigid spirits roaming the boreal valley. This torch, both a weapon and a staff, is enshrouded in everlasting flame. Punitive flame, punish foes with the flame that blankets the ground. So it's a hybrid, it's a hybrid weapon, and that you can use it to cast spells, but it's also a crazy, yeah, pretty cool looking flaming halberd weapon. Which I can't use properly. So if I, if I pull right trigger, it tries to cast a spell instead of doing normal melee attacks. Which I, so, and since I can't cast wep, uh, spells, it doesn't do anything for me. But if you had, uh, if you had sorceries equipped, may, and maybe even hexes, then you could use it there. I don't know if hexes are actually their own school of, uh, spellcasting anymore, or if they're just art, or if there's just dark pyromancies and dark sorceries and dark miracles. I... 
I know where you are. You can't hide from me unless you have unless you have backup. Oop, missed him. Large Titanite Shard, that is anticlimactic. Let's just check this wall. Gotta be careful. I don't really want to pull out a torch because it puts me over 70 and I, and I like my rolls. But uh, I have to be careful not to walk off a cliff like when I first played uh, Tower of Latria and Demon Souls. Where I repeatedly walked off cliffs because they, uh, they use that line of sight against you. Where are we? So we're going deeper and deeper down. Oh, hey, this is the bridge we saw. When we looked, we were up we were up there on the bridge, and we looked down, and there was this weird stair... Alva, Seeker of the Spurned. We're being invaded. By an NPC? Named Alva. Wait, is Alva the character that has the, the infamous... Rapid Fire sh uh, Crossbow? No, that's the wrong character altogether. Hi. Friend. So you're an NPC, right? I think so. Pokey, pokey. Huh? Yeah. Nope, not quite. I'm ready for your crossbow. No surprises there. Even fewer surprises with Ow, when you do that, I guess. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> Hoo hoo! It's a long combo. Come here. Come on over here. Whoop! He pulled out a crossbow to do a jump attack. Poke, poke, poke. <laughs> How you doing? Got him. There's that, that was counter-attack damage right there. A heavy attack midway through a jump for 207 damage. And Alva is down. Giving giving me the Mirakumo, which is the big two-handed great sword. It's a nice sword, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I already, I already read the other one. Uh C scaling with Dex. So it's a it's like a great sword. It's a it's a Dex great sword, which I believe stands out from the crowd a bit. The cursed great sword of Alva, seeker of the spurned, specially forged in an eastern land, sharp but heavy. This sword requires extreme strength and dexterity to wield. The search for the spurned has no end, and so the wayfaring knight, a warm to a most deformed weapon, is it deformed? It's just a big, it's like a, it's like a giant katana kind of spin slash is its special skill. Slice into foes with a large spinning motion. It's continued spinning to transition to a strong attack. Uh, so it's. It's not that much strength and dexterity. I guess it's... I have a theory that 10 strength and 10 dexterity is like total baseline normal person. And that getting above 10 it means that you have some kind of training or great strength, depending on which of the stats we're talking about, between dexterity and strength. That's my baseline theory of like normal human versus other stuff. Kind of like how in D&D there's like there's normal people stats, then high level person stats. So I'm trying to remember Al who Alva is a little bit. I. Th I think Alva was a Dark Souls 2 character, weren't they? Wasn't there an Alva's Keep? I regret I regret to say that sometimes these names escape me, because there's so many. Not just in Dark Souls, but in every game I play, that sometimes you can't immediately recall what we're talking about. Hey, a bonfire. What is this? Oh, Irithyll Dungeon. So this is a new zone, which means I'm going to immediately turn around and leave. But it's good to know. So this is a good bit of uh, loose ends being filled. So, we got a nice little NPC invasion, and I got a new a new zone found. We'll get right back to the- oh, interesting, Irithyll's dungeon gets its own category. That surprises me, mainly because of Road of Sacrifices was all one huge zone all the way down to the Abyss Watchers, when you would have thought that Farron Keep would have been the beginning of a new zone in particular. Maybe, they, maybe the number of zones filled the screen and they decided to uh, combine two of them just to- uh, Make, them, make it so that you don't have to scroll through multiple screens here. So I'm gonna go do some more exploration. There might be, there's probably gonna be some jump cuts here. Cause I'm gonna backtrack a bit and see if there's any loose ends that I've left behind. Otherwise, I guess we'll go off to the boss fight. What if I punch it? Oh! Hi. Oh. You're just like Yol. Oh, my. You are. But I'm afraid we require more time. As long as it takes a dark 
droplet to fall. That is all. Ah, gracious lord. Oh. So that's the pilgrim that is guarding or guiding Honori one way or another. Whatever the hell that means in this case. Huh. I can equip firebombs still, so there's no reason to unequip those. Uh... I don't know. They talk about her becoming my bride, but she doesn't mention it. Which is rather questionable. I wonder what happens if I rest. Does it just go back into being a statue? Interestingly, Henri is not here. At all. So why are you still here, then? Huh. Did not expect that <laughs> to be what popped out when the uh, talisman reacted that way. Alright, I just went ahead and pre-spent my souls on uh, fire bombs and embers and wood arrows just so I don't have to worry about picking up my souls if I have any trouble on this boss fight. And now we do the run. So, I think I've followed- I think I've done most of the loose ends, honestly. Because, uh, it did, exploring this place pretty much went exactly how I said it was going to go, which is that the first direction I went in, which felt like a side area, was totally the way that takes you through the whole place. Are they back to being a statue? They totally are. Alright. Assassin, therefore try beating to a pulp. So now we just make the- we make our run, right? Have I checked the side area yet? Really quickly here. Pointless. Yes! Thank you. This is like the only thing I haven't checked technically is these little corners here. Nope. Alright, just gotta make our, our run for the boss, which should be a nice straight shot. Not sure what I'm getting myself into yet, but I've got my Estus flasks. So, uh, what else am I gonna do, really? We're just gonna see what happens. So, I think I can get past these two guys really safely. Yep. My big worry is that these guys up here like to dash attack, so I'm worried about them catching me while I'm going for it. Oh, we made it. Pontiff Sullivan. That's a big sword. That is, in fact, a big sword. I'm not being attacked, am I? That's just the sound effects of them back there. So he's not immediately aggressive, apparently. The only sounds we're getting are from outside the chamber and the usual chorus of women singing, because that's how they do audio in these games. Oh, he's moving. I'm probably safer fighting him over there than over here, because there's more open space. But I don't know what his moveset is. Is he a caster or melee? Oh! He's in Gwyn mode! Oh! Okay. He's in stabby, stabby Gwyn mode. Alright, I have reason to be worried. This game this game likes its ranged flame swords, huh? Nope. 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 Alright. He's got those super slow swings that make me dodge early. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir Alon, you want chill? What are you doing? Up? Uh, ow? Alright. Got a few moves to learn. Oh, crap. He, he swings as slowly as physically possible, doesn't he? Alright. Fine. Is he gonna teleport to me? Because he seems to have a super speed dash. Huh. Ooh! Yep. That more or less qualifies. Oh! Alright. Don't quite as have his move set down at the moment. Could do a heal though. That'd be nice. Ow. He doesn't like that, huh? God damn. You have enough range yet, buddy? Ow. Ow. I would just like to heal just a little bit, if you don't mind. What's he doing now? Things that are I'm guessing things Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'm coming Ow! How? Why? He's a dick. <laughs> Holy shit. It's just a flurry of blows. Okay. What? I need to figure out his opening better. Ow. Good Good roll. You did it. Yep. Oop. Ow, 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 ow. Why? Okay, he's a bird man too? Alright, we're learning things about this man. 
Oh, what is he doing? I don't like it. Stop him. What is he, Iron Flesh? Oh, he has, he has a shadow? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. Things have escalated. Ow. No likey. Huh? Oh, that slow dot, that slow swing. <sighs> so it's one of those fights where I got him, I got him pretty low, but it's going to be one of those fights where the second half's the hard part. So the first half of his health bar is almost meaningless, isn't it? It's kind of like how the true challenge of uh, Abyss Watchers was getting to phase two, not phase one. We'll see how it goes. Just to test the waters on how hard this fight might be, I'm going to try to do a few attempts without using Ember. Because I might need to do a few practice attempts. Also, I probably should block more for those times where I'm not successfully dodging like that. Since I'm clearly fucking up at dodging a lot. <laughs> yep. He, he, I'm, he's surprisingly blockable for someone with a flame sword by this game's standards. I don't know why I just went for my souls when I know there's not anything there, really. Oh. So gotta land swings to do damage. Hup. Hup. Hey, hey, buddy. Ow. Yeah, yep, that's definitely more blockable than I am than I'm good at, do at blo dodging it. Ow. Okay. I did worse that time. <laughs> An interesting part of blocking is that there's a part there seems to be a part of your roll where you're rolling, but you're not invincible, but you did lower your shield, so now you're just gonna get killed. <laughs> Try no shield just for the weight loss, maybe? Still not embering just in case, because this might take me a lot of tries. Ow! Yeah, I'm pretty I'm bad at dodging this guy. Good to know. There are just things that are important to know about yourself. Getting range problems here. Okay, that was interesting. Oh. Ho -ho. Oh. Hey, buddy. He seems to be bad at tracking when you're really close to him. Okay, let's get away from him. We know what happens here. Alright, so phase one went really fast that time. What? Oh, Demon Souls, False King Allen is what we're doing here. Okay. Is now he's, is he going to start duplicating? I should probably just start hitting him then. Ow. Fuck me, man. <laughs> so we can just start duplicating like crazy, huh? Is he less aggressive in this phase? He seems like he might be less aggressive in this phase. To make up for the fact that there's two of them, which is... It'd be unfair if they were both as active as the first one was if there was two of them, right? Maybe. They're not splitting up at all, which concerns me. So maybe I'll shoot him a bit? <laughs> oh! There we go. I was, like, I'm like, I was like, I'm not gonna be the first one to come in there. Oh, shit! They're copying each other. I thought they were- I thought they were individually active. What's going on here? The first time they did this, I thought they were... What's he doing? No, he's... Oh. Is there any reason not to just to do this? Ow. They're, they're just cut. So they're just... He's a... He, he's like a shade that telegraphs his moves, which is weird in its own way. But now, oh, now they're offset from each other. That's where the problem comes in, huh? Alright. Watch out. Oh! They're splitting up a little bit. Ow. I was gonna try to run away, but the running didn't happen fast enough. Alright. What's he doing? Oh my god, we're learning new things about this guy continuously. Okay. Dodging a double attack is interesting. Oh. <laughs> it's weird. This is really strange. It's so weird. Ow. Duplicate's almost down, though. I feel like their timing is changing more over time. Huh. Nope. Nope. Kill the shade. Got him. Oh, that's, here comes the fire. 
He likes his fire. Huh. Okay, now he's back to just being normal again. Which might be more dangerous, honestly. Ow. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Roll! Okay. That was, that was mostly luck on my part, where he seemed to do manage to miss me. What a weird fight, man. <laughs> Out of range. There we go. Do 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 What a weird fight. Huh. He's so aggressive with his sword attacks, but he's weird and slow and gimmicky once he starts summoning somebody. Which, having a bow seemed effective, and it's like, just plick away at it a little bit, because he dodges the attack, but then his uh, shade gets hit by it, and then I just stabbed it a bit, and then, yeah, when, he, when he's summoning a new one, he's super vulnerable. Huh. That wasn't too bad. Blink. There we go. Let's go spend some souls. 